Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? I'm going to show you guys how to fix the copy of Windows is not genuine. Um, this will help if you pirated your Windows operating system, or maybe you didn't pirate it and it's just giving you this error anyways. That is no matter of the fact, I will show you how to fix it. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your file extensions are visible. As you can see um, on a random file that I have, I can see it's a .png, I can see it's a .txt. If it's not visible, quickly Google that. Uh, you have to go into your control panel and change a few settings. Once you have that working, you're going to go click new on your desktop and make a new text document, but we're going to actually change that text document into a batch file. The batch file is a Windows command and it will help us get rid of the copy of Windows is not genuine. So we're going to call this fixgenuine.bat. Now it'll give us a little warning saying that, you know, be careful about changing the file extension. If you don't know what you're doing, it's not going to work. It's no worries because we have just created it. Now we're going to edit it and you can choose notepad if it doesn't automatically give you notepad and then we're going to paste some code. So just like that we paste the code. It's a, it's a command. I will leave it in the description. It will be the first thing in the description. Just copy that, paste it into your document, and hit save. Then what you want to do is you want to run it as administrator. If you are an administrator, then you do not have to worry about clicking run as administrator. And you will get a message, hopefully, that says command completed successfully. Now, if it doesn't work, I will show you the first way to bypass it. What you want to do is you want to hit Microsoft key R. I will show you on the screen exactly what that key is for those who don't do not know what Microsoft key is and you will type in regdit. Now regdit is a method of basically changing some variables that are stored into the computer and blah 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 blah. Hit OK and you may have to run that as administrator as well. Now the first thing that we want to do, I've already got my folder open but I will guide you through of how to get your folder into the same place. So you're gonna go computer HK or H key local machine you're going to scroll down, click on software, open up that, go to Microsoft, open that. You're going to get quite a few files. You want to find Windows NT, then whoopsies, then we want to find current version. You scroll down once more and you click. You don't necessarily open software protection platform. Then there should be something here that says skip rearm. You want to go ahead, click modify, make sure you put it on decimal and give it a value of one. This will help you fix an error on your batch file if the batch file doesn't work. Now it wasn't working for me before, I'm just going to put that out there. You will have to restart your computer for the effects to take uh, uh, to take place and you're going to have to run the batch file again. If it does not work, do not worry. You must continue down, you open up the software protection platform folder, click on activation and you will have these three variables that we care about. The first one, activation interval. When you click on it and click on decimal, you should read a value of 90,000. If we change this value of 90,000 to zero, then what happens is it never actually uh, runs its uh, timer to say that Windows is not genuine, as we can see here. Zero basically means never run the timer. 90,000 means it will run it every 90,000 milliseconds, I believe it is. Next thing that you want to do is you want to change this value here from decimal. I believe it is zero. You want to change it to one and you want to disable the notification. So you're going to change this value from here from 0 to 1. Make sure you've got decimal clicked on and that is all. Next thing that we want to do is close all of that and restart your computer. You should be good from now on to not have any annoying messages about Windows not being genuine. If you still have an issue, please post it in the comment section of this video and I will do my best to help you. That is all.